Hi there, Tyrant here. I just got done watching episode... Uh, I don't know, oh no, okay, anyways. I don't know, okay, I just got done watching Attack of Titans. I'm a little behind, uh, a lot of things happen, and oh my god, so much, so much to talk about. Uh, focus, focus, okay, good. Oh god. So, uh, uh, oh shoot, okay, so, ah. Uh, so much, so much. I've been waiting, basically I've been waiting two weeks for this episode because of everything. And I'm upset that I didn't get to see it last weekend because it was so, like, amazing. Second half was really amazing, just the action sequences was all really good. Um, um, I'll talk a little bit, okay, so I'll, I'll talk a little bit in the beginning because of the, um, the sequence we get with, uh, um, shoot, I can't remember. So I know, we know the name of the episode is called Historia. We, I was wondering what was of that. So we learned that that's her real name and that she has this really complicated backstory of being like the illegitimate child of some someone and everything, which is like really interesting. Um, and uh, uh, you kind of get this uh, interesting um, idea of how they became closer to each other. Uh, with this uh, winter training camp, which you get a little, so you get to see a little bit of the back when they used to start training um, back in the day, um, and there was like this whole situation, and they were left out, and you, she was about to reveal her true secret, but nothing ever happened there. We learned because uh, during the second half of the thing, the sequence with her transforming into this little thing, oh my God, it was amazing. Um, also seen uh, Reiner and God, what's his name? his buddy's name uh noting that he it looks similar or might have been the same time that ate one of their friends which is interesting and don't don't quite understand yet but it's uh we'll probably learn a little bit more of that later or not so but that would have been an interesting um but just seeing the whole thing was amazing just her just the whole sequence of her just going after every single one her her design compared to Aaron's design is interesting. She's more like a little little goblin thing and um, more more agile than uh, than um, Aaron's more like masculine Titan form. Uh, and it was like really good just to see all those sequences of her just going throwing the tower a little by little, seeing Historia's kind of ramble not ramble but her declaration declaration to just do what she can and. Uh, just n noting from what I remember from two weeks ago, it's just her desire to to just not kill herself, but put her in a situation that she will die. Um, but then kind of uh, Yermi's uh, push to kind of get rid of that sense. Um, sadly, we did get to lose her, I believe. I, from what from what it looks like, I I'll we'll see what happens with me. Um, hap, uh, right after next episode, I'm just gonna watch it right now. But I'm doing this video. Uh, but when everyone else from the corpse just come in and do their thing, when the music hits, it was perfect. Um, there, there's a lot. There's just so much going through my head. Um, but those are my, those are my thoughts so far about this episode. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight into the next episode in a second. So, until next time, thanks for watching.